All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are here with Toyota CHR 2023 version. It's kind of the latest this version that it's on the market. Of course, uh, at this year, at the end of this year, will come on the market the new on sale, actually, the new Toyota CHR. But for the moment, we have this CHR. And because I didn't make the nighttime test drive, I will do it today in this video. And I have so many requests from you that ask me to do this video. So in this video, we will do it. So let's go inside the car and let's do it, guys. Let me put the key here because the car come with a start stop system. You don't have to, to do too many things. So actually, let's start the, the engine. Let me go a little bit uh, backwards. So just like that. And before we go outside this uh, parking, underground parking i want to show you also the lights so you can see you can make an idea about the low bin and the high bin this version right here is the basis version that comes with led lights but on the front the high bin and the low bin but on the rear it didn't come it comes with the normal halogen lights and let me go a little bit forward first of all to show you on the wall because i think this is the best way to make an idea about the lights so right now you can see outside it's the low bin and then right now it's the high bin low bin high bin all right now let's go in reverse going in reverse you can see that the car come with a reverse camera the resolution is very good and what i notice is the fact that it's it's quite quite responsive the camera so you can make an idea very well of what objects are behind there let's go outside i like very much the car it's very light the steering wheel it's crazy light you can drive it in small spaces you can park it in small spaces without any problem now you can make even a better idea about the lights so here is like let me stabilize okay this is the the low bin and this is the high bin low bin high bin so in general i like the fact that it's a white light and you have a very clear view outside so you can see on the ground very very well and then high bin and low bin high bin low bin and also you can see the ambient light here it looks really cool it has this bluish color background color on all the buttons and it has a very nice pleasant interior here you have also down here an ambient light you have some ambient light also in the cup holders here in the middle also here in the front so all this ambient light in the cup holders and also here where your drinks are and storage spaces on the both side it make you feel nice being inside the car but in the same time this bluish color it doesn't doesn't bother you while you're driving the night time so it's just a perfect perfect combination of colors and i like that by the way let me reset the consumption to see also what kind of consumption we can get so you can see another one in the front there but this one the one in the front the chr from the front is the the more advanced version because it has the led lights on the rear so if you want to have those led lights with following lights on the turning signals you have to upgrade to the to the more expensive version you can see it right there it has this following light really interesting it's a great car i see this car on on the streets in almost all europe there are so many people interested to buy this car and there are so many people that love this car and now after i have it for almost two days i i just um understand why they they like it so much the more you drive it the more you start liking it and it's so easy to drive it's so agile and light it feels really light and easy to drive and also it's very economical this is one of the reason why people probably buy it is that the economy it's a crossover uh, SUV that mean it's a little bit higher 14.2 centimeters the ground clearance that mean you can go over the bumps without any problem and what I noticed today is that the comfort over the bumps it's very good it is really really good now it's for the first time when I drive it in the nighttime and 
uh, will be quite interesting to see the lights but I already make an idea and I see that the lights are quite quite fine still good visibility in the mirrors up down left right great visibility in the mirrors everywhere I just turn on the climatic system on level one um, because outside are like 25 degrees but I will keep it on I will keep it low on 22 degrees here inside so we will make an idea on how it's the how will be the consumption but it's it's quite pleasant it's silent inside it's it's a night ambient feeling here big windows great visibility also the a pillar it's relatively small so you have a great visibility in this area nice it's you know this CVT transmission this version that I with that we have here is the 2 liter hybrid version with 184 horsepower 190 Newton meters uh, that comes with one electric motor one petrol engine and one small battery 1.1 kilowatt hour that means you are you are allowed to drive in electric mode for for a few time you know like one two three kilometers depending how much battery you have and coasting in electric mode you can see right here on the on the screen the the graphics and the information but the most important uh, in this video i make another video i have another few videos with this car for more information you can check it out but in the night time it's for the first time it has more than enough power also if you want to change different driving modes you will have to go into the menu driving mode and then change it from there right now we are in echo mode we can go in sport mode and we can try this sport mode as well so right now if you need a little bit more punchy you put it in sport mode and right now it's it's much more responsive and you can see right now we go out here look at this wow it's cool you have more than enough power in sport mode it's crazy crazy responsive so you have the power that you need it's very very nice going back in the lane you have blind spot technology in the corners you have the latest is technology like autopilot you can activate it from down here behind the steering wheel you just press it you go down and then you just set it up for example like that and right now the car will drive for you will keep between the lanes will accelerate will brake it's just perfect and right now in sport mode it's much more uh, responsive you know and it's much more uh, fast and agile and if you take the control for example and you have like 80 km per hour and you need a little bit more power just floor it and you have the power the only thing is because it has this ECVT transmission is that you can hear a little bit of noise from the revs from the engine but this is normal for CVT transmission other than that it's so smooth so linear the acceleration it's it's just gorgeous you know also I have connected here my uh, Apple my iPhone and we can see right here you can also for example use the voice command navigate to Promenada mall shopping getting directions to Promenada yeah, you can see how cool is that starting route to Promenada in 3.5 kilometers take exit Centro Bucusti towards Constanto and Pitesti
it's it's really pleasant to drive but what I notice is that when you go over 110 you start to hear a little bit of noise from outside you know a little bit of wind noise this is normal at least for those electric cars but at speed under 100 is just super fine in two kilometers take exit centra bqst towards constanta and Vitesti. and again if we test those uh systems you can see right now the car will drive for you automatically and you can see also on the screen there the graphic that shows you what happened uh, it sees the lanes it sees the car in front it's brake it's accelerating depend what the car in front will do um, your car will do as well so you can see right now it's just it's running really really nice it's so smooth Look at this, it's doing a great job, even in the night time it's doing great. It's just that you have to have your hands on the steering wheel uh, all the time. Now if we take the control and we will have to go on the right side. There's another car behind there. So we will have to go out on this exit here. Take exit Centra BQST towards Constanta. And, and you can see the low bin right the now. Take the first exit. And then I want to show you also this is the low bin, high bin. So you can see the difference between them. The right now, low bin and high bin. And then on the high bin, you have such a good visibility. In 500 meters, at the roundabout. And also, you can adjust exit. very well. You can adjust these uh, lights from here, from the right side. You can put them a little bit higher, the low beam, or a little bit lower, how you want it. You have here this wheel on the left side of the steering wheel down here. So from here, you can adjust it down or higher, depend how you want it. You can see now, right now, we put it the all roundabout. the way higher. The first exit. So you can see a little bit higher. That that's great. That you can adjust it. great I mean I like the fact that it's it's bright enough and it's more than enough to see in front of you to be honest if I didn't know um, the roundabout, take the first exit I think if if some person never hear the engine and just feel you know like you just feel how the car is driving without hearing that revs you will think it's an electric car you will think that oh this is an electric car because the acceleration is so linear you see it's so linear you don't feel anything on this CVT and you will think like oh my god it's an electric car if you don't hear these revs uh, and also the revs it's just in the beginning when the car it's starting to to understand and to see the to, to stabilize the, the speed then uh, the revs are gone you know it's just I will show you for example if you accelerate slowly the the noise it's it's slower it's 6.3 kilometers but if you accelerate and right now you release it it's just so smoothly linear it's crazy good the system it's phenomenal from my point of view i really love what toyota did with this system right now it's super silent look at this it's just silent and i like the fact that the power it's more than enough the car it's very light for the power it's just like it feels like it's more than enough power for the car it's like you will never have problem going uphill, downhill with many person, with many kilograms inside the car. Um, it's it's really uh, very good the way they set it up, because in the long run, uh, the engine will last longer. You know, as you probably already know, Toyota make phenomenal engines and systems. So yeah, 
from this point of view it's it's great and you can see if you accelerate you need the power is there for you to serve you lovely car I really like it and also I see that on the highway at high speed it stays quite well on the road you know feel like you can drive safely also at um, higher speed without any problem and also the seats are very comfortable I feel really relaxed on those seats I feel like I can drive many kilometers without any problem also again you can set this on the highway and then the car will stay between the lanes will uh, actually keep the distance between you and the car in front uh, it take up your stress you know you don't have to stay stressed again and watch there you just watch out what happened be around you you watch out the car have your hands on the steering wheel but the car will do the, the job for you you know the stress part and it's an extra safety you know uh, to have when you're driving all those safety systems are very very important for you because uh, they will save you in, in some circumstance anyway um, yeah it's an ambient light uh, the ambient uh, interior the ambient interior in the car with the ambient lights um, make you feel nice relaxing comfortable it doesn't bother you at all and this light it's it's better than than uh, uh, I expected I mean it's it's really good in two kilometers take the exit onto a3 towards Furisco you can see we go uphill and I accelerate uphill the car have no problem accelerating uphill it feels crazy light crazy crazy light it's I'm sure hundred percent I'm sure that the car it's limited to 180 km per hour I'm sure you can go much faster than 180 but uh, Toyota limited to 180 the speed so because I feel like it can go forever you know like it has power to go uh, more than you more than 180 km per hour you can see the blind spot in the corner in the mirror there but coasting at 80 km per hour like that is the bless for this car I think you can get incredible consumptions now we drive in sport mode I accelerate a lot of Take times I, I didn't drive economical at all and and as you can see right now the consumption until now it's around 6.1 liters so ooh, if I try to drive economical um, the consumption will be much better look at this and it stays good also in the curves the brakes are great acceleration is great I like it I really like the car this is the low bin and then the high bin and the low bin nice it's really nice and smooth it, it drives so so good turning signals and the stalks are so quiet and nice I like that continue on to so so fabrica de glucosa right now the, the car will recuperate the energy back into the battery the roundabout to make a u-turn right now 
we are driving only in electric mode I can hear the electric engine Wow, it's so agile, so light, it feels so light. The only thing that it doesn't feel, it's sporty. Uh, don't expect to be sporty, I mean the handlings are more comfortable than sporty. I mean when you go left, right, it feels crazy, crazy soft and comfortable, but it doesn't feel like you know when you when you take turns left right left right then will be complicated because the handlings is not sticking to the ground you know uh, it's it's light it's more like a comfortable car and uh, most of you probably already know that uh, and you have auto hold down here you can activate it and the car will hold for you six liter consumption and you see the climatic system on the acceleration so lovely lovely really great job Great job, Toyota. In now, one point eight kilometers, turn right onto Calia Florisca. We will turn around here and we will park actually here on the left side. Let's go here in the parking lot. And we will end up this video. Uh, I think you already make an idea about the car. You already see the lights, the interior lights. Um, I think it's more than, than enough. Uh, the time that we have with the car and you already see the lights in the front. And I will make a separate video uh, where I will show you the, the ambient light inside outside lights and I will use the other camera much better quality where you can see really really in detail uh, but now you can see even the reverse camera it has a good view in the night time even though it has a few lights here but in general it was good because I tried before as well so anyway that was the video guys I hope you enjoy it I hope you get some useful information from this video if you like it don't forget to like share subscribe you can see six liter consumption pretty good on sport mode climatic system on don't forget to like share subscribe also up here we have some light yellow light I hope you enjoy it I hope you get some useful information don't forget to like share subscribe also check out the other videos with Toyota CHR that I have on the channel I think you can find all the information that you need with this car because I have so many videos with it. A great car, phenomenal car, uh, very easy to drive and it's kind of addicted. The more you drive it, the more you like it. So yeah, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.